But we look at, at serpentine, it's a current, a, a, a green waxy appearance. It's magnesium, hydrated magnesium silicate. Uh, that water of crystallization just means within the crystal lattice there's a lot of water uh, tied up in the, in the uh, lattice. Its texture is medium to, to coarse grained, compact, dull and waxy. So you feel it and it does feel waxy. It's fairly light. Uh, it's a relative hardness of two to two and a half to four, so that's that's pretty soft material. So it would scratch relatively easily. Um, it form it's again formed uh, by metamorphism of an olivine bearing ultramafic rock. So we we had um, metamorphism of, of limestone to produce marble. We've got metamorphism of uh, ultra basic rock with lots of iron, magnesium, uh, minerals in it to start with in the presence of water to produce this serpentine mineral in a rock called serpentinite. And not surprisingly, the process of that metamorphism is called serpentinization. There's multiple varieties of uh, serpentine. There's chrysotile, fibrous, there's lizardite, which is platy, and antigorite, which is elongate, uh, known as uh, picrolite when fibrous. But chrysotile is, or chrysotile is in its fibrous fibrous form is the most common form of asbestos and as you're aware asbestos is dangerous if it's inhaled uh, as it's a potential carcinogen. So there are advantages and disadvantages with some of those forms. It occurs fairly commonly so as we were saying, uh, we weren't saying, we were talking outside, it wasn't something I said earlier but there's the, the location of these deposits is fairly well fairly well spread so the important thing for you is is your deposit near a market because there's no point you finding one in central mongolia or central australia if you're trying to supply the the market in uh, in new york for instance so location is important the uses are, are wide and varied foundry sands that is something to use to contain uh, material in in iron foundries refractory applications, um, sandblasting and abrasive. So even though it's soft, soft it still has a use in, in sandblasting operations. In the cinder process where it's used, to, where it is fused with iron, with fine iron ore and other fluxes and waste material to produce cinder feed for blast furnaces. It can be a decorative uh, coating of roof tiles. It can be used to condition soils. You can use it for heat storage. It's, a new, it's used as a neutron shield in nuclear reactors and uh, it can also be used as uh, for gems and in ornamental carvings. If we look at that, that small piece there, that's a, a slab that's being uh, prepared for a carving. So it has wide, a wide variety of uses, all with slightly different uh, criteria that are important for, for its eventual use. And owing to the ready availability of the resources, as we saw early, the delivered price of bulk serpentine products is generally fairly low, relatively low, and therefore transport's a major component of the final price. That favours products close to the markets or those able to access cheap bulk transport. 